Israeli tanks lined up along the southern border with Gaza on Thursday, pounding targets in the Palestinian enclave with artillery fire as Israeli airstrikes, drone strikes and shelling continued. This Palestinian family's home was destroyed overnight. They returned to what was left of it on Thursday morning. The Israeli military says it has struck Gaza more than 600 times since Monday evening, while Hamas has fired over a thousand rockets towards Israel. Israeli troops also amassed along the border on Thursday in preparation for possible ground operations in Gaza, a move that would recall similar incursions during the Israel-Gaza conflicts in 2014 and in 2008 to 2009. Dozens of Palestinians in Gaza have been killed in the violence, putting further pressure on hospitals already overwhelmed by COVID-19 patients. In the city of Khan Yunis in the Gaza Strip on Thursday, mourners marched through the streets carrying the bodies of an 11-year-old Palestinian boy and his 13-year-old cousin killed on Wednesday after an Israeli airstrike hit near their homes. In the Israeli border town of Sterot on Wednesday evening, a five-year-old boy was killed when a rocket from Gaza hit his building. It's very, very difficult to live uh, under these uh, uh, circumstances. And uh, the government should wipe out Gaza, should wipe out Gaza once and for all. With concerns about the conflict spiraling out of control, the United States is sending an envoy to the region Yet efforts to end the worst hostilities in years appear so far to have stalled. Well, uh, Israel 